Well, the sun is made of gas and gas plasma. However, here Just in the like Denver area, we right are one here. mile above sea level and the air pressure is a little less. Uh, helium rises because of buoyancy. The helium is less dense than oxygen. Very good. And what I want you to do is pour the gas down the ramp to this candle. I guess it flows downhill because it's heavy, it's dense, that's cold. Hello, my name is Michael Dubson. I'm on the faculty of the Physics Department at the University of Colorado at Boulder, and I'll be your host for the Convection Connection. The Convection Connection is a nine-part video series designed to help you understand the important concept of convection and how it affects your daily life. Joining me to explain the world of convection will be Colorado geophysicist Dr. Alex Weaver and Denver's News 4 meteorologist Larry Green. The Convection Connection. Everything from hot air balloons rising, to rain falling, is all connected to convection. Convection is the movement of heat by bulk motion of matter. Examples include warm air rising, ocean circulation, and even the plasma inside the sun. And here's a rock that has the same volume of the pound of water, but the rock weighs two and a half pounds. That would mean it has a density of 2.5. Very good. With the help of CU scientist Dr. Alex Weaver and Denver News 4 weatherman Larry Green, we'll explain concepts such as density, temperature, and air pressure, and how these affect our weather, our oceans, the sun, and even silly putty. Oh. It just pulls apart. It's like bubble gum, all right? If you pull it apart quickly, it breaks. And that's what viscoelastic does. That's one of the properties of a viscoelastic solid. Each episode will have interesting and fun demonstrations to help you understand convection. And now, episode one. Density is mass per volume. Okay. The density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. Now this is a cubic centimeter. Very good. All right. And this pencil weighs about two grams. All right. So a scientist would say that the density of water is one. All right, that's our base. Water is one. One gram per cubic centimeter. All right. A rock this size weighs two and a half pounds, but a rock that size weighs about 600 pounds. And Larry, at the end of the segment, we're going to use our knowledge of density to try and lift that monster. Should be interesting. <laughs> okay. All right, now we have some other objects here. Right, would you hand me that brick there, please? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is a good trick. Here we yeah. go. This is a brick of lead painted white so that we don't get lead on our fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, the density of lead is 11.3. So it'd be 11.3 times denser than water. Uh, very good. All right. Here's a styrofoam brick. The density of styrofoam is 0.1. That'd be one-tenth the density of water. That's right. You might think that there's nothing uh, less dense than styrofoam. Uh, I have a couple of ideas. How about air? <laughs> Very good. Over here, I have a cubic meter of air. Now, all the air in this cubic meter weighs about two pounds, as much as these two hunks of metal here. However, if I were to fill this cubic meter with water, it would weigh 2,000 pounds. Uh. So two pounds of air versus 2,000 pounds of water, the density of air is... One one-thousandth the density of water. You got it. Hey, I think it's time for us to try and lift the big rock. Okay, let's rock. All right, get a good grip now. Ready? Okay. Ready? Uh, oh, wait a minute, my phone's ringing. So what do you want me to do with this? Uh, I'll Mm. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. As you probably guessed, this isn't a rock at all. It's a big block of styrofoam. In the next episode, we'll talk about atoms and introduce the concept of temperature. <laughs>